Josh Green here for Tunks and Tales. Delighted to be joined by Wayne Warren with a trophy by the side of him. It's uh, great to see you with the big trophy, Wayne. Um, just tell us, first of all, how does it feel to have, have that with you and how proud are you to have uh, the World Championship trophy? Well, yeah, it's, it's great to have a cup back in my hands. You know what I mean? It's um, For what the people have done, you know what I mean? The generosity of people is unbelievable. And um, for what we've been through, really, uh, with the police and all that, you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, what's, what's the word I can use? It's, it's a bit down, no, downgrading when, when they took it. And I was like devastated. Like, I, I, I just wanted, I didn't want to do nothing. I, I, it was pathetic if you ask me, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, Wayne Dobson been absolutely fantastic. I gotta say, he's been absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah. 100%. For people that don't know, just explain the story of how you've now managed to get that in your hands, because I believe it's over £2,000 that was raised to make a, a pretty much exact replica of the, the World Championship trophy. And uh, people have been very generous in, in getting that to you, haven't they? Well, yeah, um, Wayne Dobson, he phoned me up and one day and um, he mentioned this to me and what have you. All right, I didn't know it materialised. It's... It's the people's generosity, and and um, he mentioned it, we'll get a replica, and hopefully, hopefully, we can so I can take them to uh, the exhibition. And to be honest, like I know um, Wayne's a great guy and for what he's done, but I didn't think I didn't think it would materialize. But when Wayne for me that said the amount of money is raised and that, and then I had a phone call of him last week to say the cup is in his hands. And, and I can tell you this, Josh, if you've actually seen this cup, it's absolutely identical to every detail. Absolutely every detail. It's unbelievable. I was going to say, have you got um, the names of all the former champions and everything's on there, is it? On the other cup, you couldn't see you couldn't see Arthur names. You couldn't see like, at least, um, well, definitely see, you couldn't see Leak I'd, I'd say you could see to 2000, and that's it. Mm. This one, every single one, you can see the lock. It's, it's brand new. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And I, I just can't wait to take it. And, and people can have their photos of it. And what have you. It's, it's going to go back into um, whichever we, we decide um, whether they're going to make play a tournament or, or you can give it to WDF or Mad Darts or whichever it is. It's going to stay in the amateur game. And it's going to be called the People's Cup. So that's the plan for you, is it? To be able to defend it at an, an amateur world championship, whatever that is, and be a, a proud champion with a, a fantastic trophy. Well, yeah, that, that is that is me because I would love to try and defend it. You know what I mean? It's, it's been 2020 between the lockdown and everything. Now there's nothing been going on really, really for me. You know, even. So um, it's nice that um, I think there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel now. Uh, things are opening up. Um, especially on the amateur side, obviously the PDC being firing and, and I, you know, brilliant, brilliant run, it's been great. But the amateur side is starting to open up now, we're having dates too um, for different tournaments and that, so um, the exhibitions are opening up, we've got quite a few booked as well now, so we'll, um, I just can't wait now to get back on the road and take, take the old cup with me. <laughs> it's it's not for everybody to see, like. 100%. I mean, you didn't get the, the World Championship year like so many have in the past. You didn't get to parade it round at your your local, show it off to, to family members and that. Is that what you've been able to do this week and I'm sure you're hoping to do in the coming weeks? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's um, when, when I had the other cup, I, there's a lot of people local seen it, you know what I mean? And um, I, I, done, I done one exhibition. I took it to, took it to Romania. And I took mm. it to Slovakia, um, and I'm having closed down then, didn't it? But it's just been, it, it was just sitting on my table, you know what I mean? For play the place on my table next to the Mad Darts, <laughs> told me I got. And, um, but this one, now, now everybody knows I've got this, and people will be asking me when they can have the photo done with it. And so they're going to come to the house and, and wherever I can take it to. And that's what it's there for, really, now. And, and it gives me, Gives me more pride of being a world champion to have the cup 
yeah. other side of me, and it's it's a cracker, Josh. It's it's brand new. It's a beauty, fair play. I must say, yeah. It certainly does it. look like a cracker. And going forward, I mean, you're, you've got the world championship trophy now. Do you do you have more motivation to practice? And you you've got you can now go out and defend that trophy, whereas before maybe the the impetus wasn't quite there. Well, when when they come and took the trophy away, you know, and the way they done it, yeah, it sort of. I felt down. I felt so down the way they done it. My boy was there and he was crying and he'd run upstairs in peace. And, and I thought to myself, is it worth, is it worth it? And I, I tell you straight, it, it hit my confidence. It, it hit me all around. And then between the lockdown and everything, mm. you know, I, I, I tried and thought about just packing it all in and, and that. But what happened the last two months with what Wayne Dobson and Fair play, um, the big five, uh, they, they're great to me as well. You know, I mean, I, I, I got to I gotta mention them. They, they, they're fantastic. Paul Brown, Steve, and the rest of the boys, they, they're great. And um, they've kept me going. And now I got this cup. I just can't wait now. It's like it's like a new me since I've had this cup. I can tell that now. It's, it's like a new me. And it's, it's, a, it's something that I want to... Uh, to take it with me and prove prove a point that um, that, that is life in being more than yet. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, were there moments? I mean, you said how down you were when they came and and took the trophy from you, and you had the police round and everything. Were there moments where you you genuinely thought you might give up the game and and not play professional darts at a professional level again? Yeah, yeah, it was massive. Um, I've had loads of phone calls asking me, and, and I and I give them the same answer. It, it's I was, I was so down. I, it was just the way it was done. Do you know what I mean? I was never going to keep the cup. I was never going to keep the cup. But I don't see why I should have given it back to Mister and Mrs. Jacqueline because because she's involved as much as as much as he is. And it's the way they done it. They drove down in, in the pandemic, four hundred and fifty miles to pick the cup up from the police station. Why were they allowed to do it? Like as if everything was my fault. You know what I mean? But um, hey, look, that's gone. They're gone. They're out of my. I, I just got this cup for you now, and I'm, I'm so proud to have it in my hands for you. And I just wait the note for, for the season to kick off now. I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, it's great to see you with the cup back in your hands, Wayne. I was there on when you won the trophy on the night at the yeah. at the end ago, and it's great to see you smiling again once again. Thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you soon. No problem, Josh. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Take care, though.